Marine Gurukul has launched a number of online modules to support the students in passing their competency exams. For more details, you may connect with us and write to us on the email ID on the screen that is marinegurukul at gmail.com. Thank you. Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. We are pleased to present this video six on tides, which just provides you an overview, just a broad overview of what harmonic constants mean. In the next video we shall learn how to calculate tide using harmonic constants but hope you'll appreciate that we should have some idea about what harmonic constants are before we start calculating the tide or predicting the tidal heights using the harmonic constants harmonic constant is a set of numbers that are needed for tidal prediction the final values of tide and current are result of two major factors. One, an astronomical component which is based on the relative positions of sun, moon and earth. Second, a hydrodynamic component which is based on the geographical location of the place including the shape of the coastline and the depth. We have studied in our earlier videos on tides, video 1 to 5, that tides are caused by gravitational force of moon and sun experienced by the water bodies on the Earth's surface. With our knowledge of celestial navigation, we can discuss the astronomical component in some details. We know that in an imaginary geostationary frame in which we assume the earth to be stationary, sun apparently revolves around the earth along the ecliptic with obliquity of the ecliptic being 23 and a half degrees. Moon revolves around the earth along its orbit whose plane is inclined at about five and a quarter degrees with the plane of the ecliptic. Sun completes one apparent revolution around the Earth in about 365 and a quarter days. Moon completes one revolution around the Earth in about 27.33 days. And Earth that exhibits the properties of a gyroscope rotates about its own axis, completing one rotation in 24 hours. Effect of these motions results into motion of the earth, motion of the moon, apparent motion of the sun. They result into moonrise, moonset, sunrise, sunset, phases of the moon, changing seasons, daily retardation of moon, precision of the equinoxes, and drifting of the moon nodes. And all these phenomena we have studied in our navigation. So we are all familiar with these terms. These occurrences being repetitive and cyclic in nature, the resultant gravitational pull exerted by moon and the sun on earth also varies. Thus, a cyclic effect on the tides is experienced. Because of the changing position of the moon and sun in relation to the earth, there can be hundreds of combinations that can be identified. Out of these numerous harmonic constituents, 37 normally have the greatest effect on tides. Each constituent can be represented as a cosine curve with the values providing its amplitude and phase difference. Harmonic constant is a set of numbers that are needed for tidal prediction, which are calculated through the analysis of tidal data collected at a location. Harmonic constituents and harmonic constants technically do have a slight difference, but for our purpose, these two terms on a broad basis are usually used interchangeably. Out of 37 major harmonic constituents, 
just four are tabulated below. These four shall also figure in our table that we shall be using when we compute the tidal heights using harmonic constant method in the next video. Now, the name is the name of the constituent and the number in the subscript shall represent the number of cycles per day, whether it is one cycle a day or two cycles a day. And this will be the full name of the tidal constituent. M2, M is here for moon, two cycles a day, its principal lunar semi-diurnal constituent. S2 likewise, principal solar semi-diurnal constituent. Why? Because two cycles a day. K1 is the lunar diurnal constituent. One means only one cycle a day, so diurnal. O1, lunar diurnal constituent. One means only one cycle a day. Now we know that all these 37 constituents would have different phases, different amplitudes, and their resultant will represent the composite curve. If the same thing we reduce to four components just for the sake of discussion, and we draw these curves, then we can see typically these curves, M2, then we have this S2, then we have this broken line 1, K1, and then we have this as the O1. We can see all these four curves have different amplitudes, different phases. And if we want to draw a composite curve of all these four, the resultant curve of all these four, that could be coming somewhat like this. And this will be the composite curve, which gives you the resultant of all the four constituents. And this gives must be giving you some idea as to how harmonic constituents contribute and their resultant results into the height of tide. With this, we come to end of this video, which was an attempt just to introduce harmonic constants to you. We shall soon be coming out with our next video that is Tides Volume 7, in which we shall learn how to compute or predict the height of tide using harmonic constants. Hope you like the video. Please share your comments, share the video. Thank you for watching Marine Gurukul video series. Do look out for our next video on calculations of tides by harmonic constants. Do subscribe to the channel if not already done. Press the notification button for automatic update on the future releases. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.